Hello, this is Linux Gamer AATZ, and today I will be showing you how to install the Kerbal Space Program demo on your computer in 2020. Now, the Kerbal Space Program website fairly recently underwent a redesign, which completely removed the demo page, and already the old website had had the demo page inactive for nearly two years, I believe, so many people assumed the demo would never come back, and I can't blame them when a game site removes a page on a version of your, their game, it's safe to say it's discontinued. But, even though they removed the download link, it still exists as an app on Steam. It's a hidden app on Steam, however, so we need to know its app ID, which you can find through Steam database. It exists. Its ID is 231410. And to install it, we're going to need something called uh, Steam CMD, or Steam command, I guess, which you can install on Linux with this command. Note, however, since Steam is a 32-bit app, if you are on 64-bit Linux, you'll have to add the i386 architecture for Intel or AMD chips, at least. But I've already done that, and then, of course, you'd have to sudo apt update, but again, already done that, so yeah. Anyway, just so that you know that, um, yeah, we're going to run the command. It's, you need a uh, sudo, obviously, to run install, so I have to put in my password. And it'll install it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention you need the multiverse repository. I'll put the command to add that in the description, and of course, after that, you'll have to run in apt update, but yeah, we have steam command now so we'll soon see what to do with that okay and we're back i had to grab a few commands off the files i'm using to store stuff but anyway first thing you need to do to run steam command is uh, cd into the tiled root area and then uh, steam command and it'll go ahead and down its download its update. This actually has happened to me every time I've downloaded Steam, is it'll run an update immediately after I download. I kind of wonder why that is. Didn't, why won't they just include the update in the latest package? I do not know, but yeah. Anyway, um, we have Steam command launched, and now it's Extracting stuff, cleaning up. Okay, next we have to log in. So, log in Toshinka since you do need to have a Steam user account. It is a free game, but, well, it's a demo, so of course it's free, but anyway. Logging in. Um, I have my password saved on this computer so it doesn't ask for it, but yeah, there's that. And then we're going to paste in the force installation directory, which for me will be just in my downloads folder. And then run this command, that's the app ID we got earlier, to install the demo. And now it's fully installed. Let's go check the folder and see if it is correct. And you will see here, indeed, KSP demo has been created in our downloads folder and had the game installed to it. Now here's the readme. It's going to inform you that sadly this is the 0.18.3 demo version, but it works. You can click the executable, launch it. Uh, Kerbal Space Program is actually DRM free, so even if you get it from Steam, you don't actually need Steam running for it to launch, but 
Yeah, I might make more videos on the demo because, in my opinion, the Kerbal Space Program demo is one of the better game demos in existence, but thank you for watching. Goodbye.